Hi, I'm Mary Ellen. I'm Paula. And we're Red Crinoline Quilts. We're wishing we had some balloons, maybe some confetti, some of those great noisemakers because we are here to celebrate. We're very excited. Oh, because why are we excited? Our new book. Yes, book number two, Step Back in Time, is out and ready to go to be at your local quilt store. And we hope you'll be as excited about it when you see it as we are. Uh, it was inspired by scraps. Uh, we've got plenty of scraps in our sewing room. We know you do too. And we decided we would do a book that would help you get rid of a lot of those scraps. Just of when course, you, what happens with scraps? They multiply overnight. Yes, like little rabbits. Little rabbits, yep. But it doesn't seem like it's, you use them and then they never disappear. So everyone always has scraps. Right. And we're trying to get rid of them. Um, this book has some small quilts in it. Has and it has quilts. large quilts. Um, things that you can maybe do in a long weekend, and then also some that you're going to want to spend a little bit of time on. You want to show them some of the small ones? Yes. Okay. This one is called Itty Bitty Leftovers, and it is based on the quilt that you actually see behind it, and it are it is made from leftover half square triangles, and I will tell you about that one in a minute. Okay. We like that one so much that we thought you might want to just be able to do it in two colors because everybody loves a two color quilt. And this one is called Pioneer Life. And you can still do that with scraps because you can change up and use a lot of different colors in it. And this one is called Wild Rose. Again, scrappy, but in this one we did what I like to call controlled scrappy. Yeah, it's all the pinks and browns you can find in your scrap bin um, with a few fabrics to tie the whole thing together. And this one, good border. Good yes. border helps you pick what you need. So the other quilts that we have, we have some large quilts too. One of the ones that we're very proud of is the one that's on the cover. It is... Potato Chip Stars. And why do we have Potato Chip Stars? Well, Paula has this thing. She loves four inch star blocks. I do. And I love this particular star block. Um, whenever she goes to a class or when we're at a retreat and you're looking, she has wants to teach something, maybe it's after lunch and now yeah, let's do something a little bit different. She teaches this four inch star block. Um, I think just half of the blocks you think in this quilt on the front cover are Probably made from that. from teaching classes. Yeah, from teaching classes. Yeah. And how many more do you have of those? Um, I have enough to make another whole quilt. Mine? Plus some. Yes, it could be yours. Okay. If the price is right. <laughs> or if I'm nice. Yes, okay. she's nice. It's, it's good to know. Um, that is, it's a great block. Uh, potato chip stars because it's like that old saying, bet you can't eat just one. And in this case, bet you can't make just one. Yes, and it is my mission to get everyone addicted to making this little block, or as addicted as I am to making mm -hmm. it. And let's use up those scraps. Yes. This is the block that you're going to want to do it and in. And then would you like to tell them the story behind uh, Kentucky Stars? Yeah, this is Kentucky Baskets behind you. And this one started as a picture that Paula showed me of this adorable basket block. I, I, oh, Paula, this is lovely. This is great, yes. And then she flipped the screen on the computer and there was this basket with a dime sitting next to it. And I'm like, no way, not happening. I will very nicely make you four of them and you can have a hot match. She was match. devastated. <laughs> she was. So it came up, oh, every couple of months every year or so and finally what happened um about three years in she decided i think we could probably make that little block i think i had a fever yeah and but, so um we were very happy that when she decided that it would be a good time that, to make it it coincided with the new book coming out with martindale right we needed a new one so this is it and it is scrappy you will need a light and a dark and you'll need yardage in those but after that all of these baskets are made from scraps uh, when you make them, you're going to make a positive and a negative block, and you actually have half square triangles left over, and that's what we use to make that little itty bitty leftover. So you're actually going to get two quilts out of this. But okay, it takes a while. This quilt took a while to make. Yeah, this is one that you're going to want to savor. So you'll pick out your background fabric and then go in and start picking out scraps. Or if you're making a quilt, Put some aside from each of the quilts you make to make one of these little baskets. You could make one positive and negative block a week, 
set them aside. Next week, you're working on something else, pull out another scrap. It's not something that you probably are going to want to sit down and say, I'm going to get this done now. This one will take you a little while. Take it's your time. It's fun that way, yeah. I think. Yeah. And in this one, enjoy it. Have the fun with it. it. It's a great quilt to make. And I think you're going to end up with an heirloom. Mm -hmm. I definitely think so. Yeah. This, uh, this, this is a good one. There's quite a few in here you're going to like. We want to thank you for joining us. We want to thank Martingale Publishing for uh, working with us on our second book. We had a great time and we've enjoyed working with them. And we hope you're as excited about this book as we are. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.